Today we're going to take a look at the trailer idler hub assembly for 2,000 pound easy lube axles. This has a 5 on 4.5 inch bolt pattern. Now this trailer hub assembly will fit the easy lube idler axles and those easy lube idler axles are the ones that have the grease zerk fitting on the end of the spindle of the axle that allows you to grease the bearings without having to remove this complete hub assembly. This does come with the easy lube compatible grease cap. When that's installed it will make lubricating your bearings very fast and easy. All you'll have to do just pop out this rubber plug and that gives you access to that zerk fitting on the spindle and you'll be able to put a grease gun on and pump it with grease so there's no need to have to take off the whole idler hub and get to get to the bearings to grease them. Now this idler hub assembly will include everything shown here on the table. Also includes the bearing races which are pre-installed in the hub. You can see the outer bearing race right there and the inner bearing race right in there. Comes with both the inner and outer bearings. Comes with the grease seal. Comes with the easy lube grease cap with that rubber plug and it comes with five half inch lug nuts. Now the hub itself is a sturdy iron construction, has a nice zinc and rich paint finish over the whole hub. It is certified by USSAE standards and CSA which are the Canadian standards. Again the application for this is a 2,000 pound easy lube trailer axle with the BT8 spindles. It is compatible with axles from most manufacturers including Dexter, Lippert and Alco. Now the hub flange diameter, which is the diameter of this whole hub itself, is five and a half inches. The bolt pattern is a five on four and a half inch bolt pattern. The weight capacity is a thousand pounds per hub, so when this hub is used with another one on the other side of the axle, it gives you your two thousand pound max. Now these parts right here, this hub will use the same inner and outer bearing part number. It's part number L44643, has a one inch inner diameter. So if we start and use this on the inner bearing, you can see it goes in the inner bearing race just like that. And then to hold it in, you have your grease seal, has an overall diameter of 1.983. That goes in there and you tap that into position to hold that into place. And then the other bearing, again, which is the same part number, L44643, one inch inner diameter. Put that on the outer bearing race just like that. And then take your zinc plated easy lube grease cap with the rubber plug. It does have the flange diameter of 1.99 inches and you just tap that into place with the plug will be installed in the cap and then all you have to do is pop off the plug and gain access to that zerk fitting. <clears throat> now for this video I'm just showing you where these parts are placed on the hub assembly. When you do install these for the first time you do want to make sure these bearings are fully greased when you install it and then after that with your cap on there and access to that zerk fitting you can keep the grease maintained in it by using the easy lube and then you don't have to take the whole hub off to get to the bearings to grease them. Also comes with the five half inch by 20 size lug nuts. Those are used to hold your wheel and tire assembly to this hub. Once you put your wheel up on these studs, just put your lugs on and then torque them down to the correct specs for your application. But that'll do it for the review of the trailer idler hub assembly for 2,000 pound easy lube axles and it has the five on four and a half inch bolt pattern.